What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right, ranchers, I am here. It's January. Uh, it is the 3rd of January, actually, and uh, I've been gifted some lack of snow here on my food plot here in upstate New York, and I know the snow is coming. So what am I doing with a rake? Well, I got a lot of leaf litter here on my small food plot because fall happened and leaves come off the trees. So I want to rake my food plot. Some of you are saying, well, why would you have to rake your food plot? Well, that's nice you have an eight acre food plot where no leaves ever touch most of that food plot, but I do not have a sprawling massive food plot. I have your standard New York State property, small, less than an acre food plot, which one day I hope to expand, but I'm still not a professional, just a super enthusiast learning the process and expanding everything here at the ranch. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna get in here with a rake and a blower before the snow comes for the rest of this winter and blankets over my food plot and just holds this leaf litter against the ground. Leaf litter is really bad for forest floors. It just kills everything that's growing potential. I know what you're saying. We'll wait till the spring and do it then. Well, I'm trying to get it off now. So when I get some of those nice summery days, that rye grain and the winter wheat mixture that I threw in here, pops back up and grows a little bit for these deer and this plot stays thicker and green. I'm not working on trying to get it deep. I'm trying to work to get these leaves off so if it does grow a little bit, it might get a little bit wider um, than tall because it's not gonna grow that great in the winter. Obviously, we're looking at polar type temperatures but uh, I still want the leaf litter off because the leaf litter just puts an acidity on the food plot and it'll just kill whatever's underneath the leaves. I mean. Think about it if you have just a lawn at home. If you left your leaves on the lawn and didn't rake them off and then you waited in the, the spring to rake them off, underneath that spot of leaves, your lawn would be dead and you'd be using like the patch thing and shaking that thing on there for the summer. So we all rake our leaves. Doing the same thing here, same process, just to get them off. Also, now I'm set up for frost seeding in the springtime in that wonderful time of the year where you're getting those freeze and frost days, you could seed right into it and your ground is ready, free of leaf litter and prepared. Another question you might have is, why didn't I do this already? Well, it was hunting season and I didn't wanna be in my food plot during hunting season. I came in once to make a quick video follow-up for you guys. If you didn't see that, check that out. But I didn't wanna make a habit of it. I try to stay out of a lot of the center of my property during the hunting season to keep the deer pressure down low. But now the season's over and I'm back to habitat. All right, guys, let's get to raking. Now it's not the best of rake jobs, but there's a lot more exposed ground. And that's what I'm trying to get. And even as I walk over here, check out all this, you can see much more free from leaves. I mean, just look up there in the, in the woods, so many more leaves. Also, as I'm working around here, look, I got some brassica bulbs still, still here that uh, maybe I exposed now um, that the deer didn't, didn't quite see or get to yet. But now they'll uh, be able to grab some of them get a little bit more winter food here. And this is, uh, you know, they're not giant, but this is winter food for them, most definitely. So that, that's cool to see too. All right, ranchers, thanks for watching. That's my little tip today. Rake your food plot if you can. Um, if it's too frozen, you're not gonna be able to do that. I definitely had some experience with some pockets that might've been frosted to the ground a bit because it's really cold out here. It's, 
it's down in the, you know, just about double digits at 10 degrees. And um, that's raking your food plot. Expose some of the turnips and brassica bulbs you could see, which is kind of nice. The deer might need some more winter forage. Maybe they couldn't get to it or didn't realize it was quite there underneath the leaf litter. So now that's a little bit brought up to the top. They'll be able to munch on that. And we're all set now for frost seeding in the spring here. Thanks for watching.